So the Callisto Protocol is starting to look like dead space on steroids. In this video, we'll look at all the pre-order options, what extras come with each edition, including the Collector's Edition, which includes this savage statue. Hey guys, this is Chris with BNB Gaming. Welcome back and I hope you're doing amazing today. Thank you guys all for your likes, your shares, your comments, all your support. Definitely appreciate it. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in the Callisto Protocol, Stalker 2, Atomic Heart, Evil West, hit that subscribe button for more content. Now to start out with guys, in the background you probably noticed we have some brand new gameplay that they released at Gamescom that I'll be playing in the background here. Just to whet our appetite for more Callisto Protocol. Well anyways, as far as the additions go, let's start out with PC. On PC, the Callisto Protocol is going to be available through Steam and the Epic Game Store. First of all, we have the Day 1 Edition, which is the standard edition for $60 which includes the Callisto Protocol, Retro Prisoner Character Skin, along with two Retro Prisoner Weapon Skins. Along with the Day 1 Edition, they're also offering the Digital Deluxe Edition for $80. The Digital Deluxe Edition includes the Callisto Protocol, again the Retro Prisoner Character Skin, two Retro Prisoner Weapon Skins, and the Season Pass, which is confirmed to have story content. And finally on the PC, we have the Collector's Edition, which is a physical edition for PC. Again, we have the Callisto Protocol, but this time it comes in a steelbook case. It doesn't say whether or not it has a disc or not. I'm assuming it's just a code, but hey, you got the case. Along with that, you also get the TCP comic, along with the Outerway collectible pin and the UJC or United Jupiter Corporation collectible pin. And finally, you get the Collector's Edition statue. On Twitter, Glenn Schofield wrote, our Collector's Edition statue is pure quality, made from heavy polysteel and designed internally by our team. I'm really excited by how great this turned out and can't wait to get this beauty up on my shelf. As far as the consoles go, let's start with Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S. First of all, we have the Day One Edition, which we have the option between digital or a physical copy. The Xbox One version is $60, and the next-gen version, Xbox Series X, is $70. And it includes the Callisto Protocol, Retro Prisoner Character Skin, two Retro Prisoner Weapon Skins, the next option is the Digital Deluxe Edition, which is $80 on Xbox One and $90 for Xbox Series X and S. Just like the PC version, you get the Callisto Protocol, the Weapon Skins, and you also get the Season Pass. Finally, for Xbox One and Xbox Series X, we have the Collector's Edition. And here in the United States, it's a GameStop exclusive. It's interesting because they both have an Xbox One version for $240 and an Xbox Series XS version for $250, which I think is kind of weird. Well, <laughs> well, anyways, with the Collector's Edition, you get everything the Deluxe Edition has, the Season Pass, the Weapon Skins, the Game, etc. You also get a Steelbook case, the TCP Comic Edition Zero, Outerway Collector Pin, UJC collectible pin, and of course the Jacob statue. Now finally for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, again we have the Day 1 edition, which you can get either physically or digitally. For PlayStation 4 it's $60, and for next gen PS5 we have $70. Again it has the game, the weapon skins, but it also includes a pre-order bonus they're calling the Contraband Pack. Now they haven't given us the details exactly what the contraband pack is going to include, but Glenn Schofield said it's going to help give Jacob a fighting chance against the unspeakable horrors of Black Iron Prison. So I'm guessing it's going to have a baton, maybe a pistol, maybe a shotgun or something just to get you started in the game. Next, just like Xbox, it has a digital deluxe edition. Again, for PS4, it's $80, and for PS5, it's $90. And again, it's going to include the game, 
the Retro Prisoner character skin, the two Retro Prisoner weapon skins, and just like the Day 1 edition, you're going to get the Contraband Pack as a PlayStation exclusive. Along with that, you're going to get the Season Pass and another exclusive for PlayStation. It says you're going to get a 48-hour advanced access to Story DLC. So not the base game, but the Season Pass content when it comes out. Now finally for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, you have the option of the Collector's Edition. And just like the Xbox, it's a GameStop exclusive here in the United States. For PlayStation 4, it's $240, and for PlayStation 5, it's $250. So the PlayStation version of the Collector's Edition is of course going to have the game. It's also going to include again the Contra Pack, which is the PlayStation exclusive, the Season Pass, Steelbook Case, TCP Comic, Other Way Collector Pin, UJC Collector Pin, the Jacob Statue, and again, just like the Deluxe Edition on PlayStation, it's going to have the 48-hour advanced access to Story DLC. Now, along with the different character skins and weapon skins you can get in the different editions, you also can get what they're calling the snake character and weapon skins by connecting crafting to your favorite platform, so Xbox, PlayStation, Steam, whatever. On the website it says, connect your favorite gaming platform with Crafton ID to claim exclusive snake character and weapon skins when the game launches on December 2nd for PC and console. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Are you excited for the Callisto Protocol? What do you think of the Collector's Edition, the Jacob Statue? Let us know in the comments below. For me, it's been a while since I've genuinely been hyped for a game. Dead Space happens to be one of my favorite games because it's not trying to be for everyone. It's a hardcore, survival horror, mature game for mature players. To me, it's such a tragedy to see games like Dead Space, Gears of War, it just breaks my heart even thinking about it, Doom, etc. When they choose or are forced by greedy corporations, publishers, or just stupid people to dilute a game to make it for everyone and thus make it for no one. It happens every time. They did it with Dead Space, they did it with Gears of War. It seems like they're starting to do it with Doom where they're putting some of this Fortnite-ish stuff in there and it's like, eh, whatever. Anyways, the reason I'm so high for the Callisto Protocol is it's what Dead Space should have evolved into. A more savage survival horror game with even elements of Souls-like melee combat I think this game is going to be awesome. 